start for the year. So hello, I'm V. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. And I just decided I'm going to take you guys along with me for a week in the life as a creative writing student, just a week in my writing life in general. My writing timer is up, but I'm going to ignore that because I'm vlogging. Um, yeah, so a way that I like to balance school and writing is that I like to do Pomodoro timers where I do 25 minutes schoolwork and then a five minute writing break, or sometimes I'll switch it to 20 minutes of schoolwork, 10 minutes of writing, depending on how much work I have to do, which I don't have a lot to do, but anyway so i'm writing right now and just a little update for those of you who may not know i'm an aspiring romance writer and i have currently two writing work in progresses right now they're both y romances one is project itl and the second newer one is project conditions attached which i started in november now i am currently working on draft two of project itl and simultaneously working on draft one of project conditions attached just to catch you up if you haven't seen my past vlogs but i am at a point where i'm going to be making a pivotal advancement in project itl because i'm basically done draft two i haven't made a ton of changes to it i think most of the changes were, were at the beginning um even though the end ending is really what needs the most shaping but i know that i need help on this draft i need a pair or a set of outside eyes on this telling me what's working and what's not for the plot and the character and just big picture things so i don't want to spend so much time going through the ending when i know that changing big things in the beginning will completely change the ending and i'm not married to the ending i have right now so the last like two or three chapters are kind of untouched which means i'm basically done draft two because what i plan to do now is i am going to send this draft to an alpha reader on fiverr so i'm going to hire an alpha reader on fiverr it's what i did for project soulmates and i loved that experience Experience. I made a whole video on it, but basically if you don't know what an alpha reader is, they're basically like a beta reader. So they read your draft, they give you feedback, except they deal with earlier drafts and focus on bigger de developmental edits. This is an early draft. The writing is very much indicative of that, very much early draft writing. And I need an alpha reader to look this over and give me feedback before I dive into draft three. So we're going to do that right now. going to look through Fiverr. I think I want to find it specifically a romance alpha reader because I think that could be really helpful for me and once I've sent it off that means I can focus completely on project conditions attached which I have been working on um, over the past couple of days because it's just I love that project so much I love this one too but it's always exciting working on something new so anyway, we're going to look right now for an L reader. We're going to send draft two off, which yay, I'm done draft two. And yeah, this is so exciting because it's January 15th. And my goal this year was to start querying one of my novels. And while I'm nowhere near querying stage for any of these drafts or any of these projects, this is putting me a step closer and we're only 15 days into the year. So woo -woo, I'm excited. Okay, we are on Fiverr and I'm going to search up romance. It doesn't have to necessarily be an alpha reader. We'll see if they have anything under that category if not it can be a beta reader but i will clarify with them because you can chat with them before they do anything that i need a developmental edit back but let's see if they have alpha readers okay they do they're not specifically for romance though which is what i'm looking for oh they do have some okay i'm gonna look through these and then i will get back to you guys okay i sent messages to all of the potential alpha readers slash beta readers that i'm thinking to work with because most of them are away right now so i might actually be getting it tomorrow when i have everyone's responses unless i get them all tonight who knows but but yeah it's six o'clock right now my friends and i are going to be buying tickets for our summer trip at nine o'clock tonight they're gonna come over and i'm so excited one of them is my roommate so she's not gonna come over she's already here we're planning a trip two and a half week trip in europe and i'm so excited we're gonna get our tickets tonight and i kind of just want to relax for a bit before then so i'm gonna take a pause or take a pause on the writing and i will update you guys the next Next time I update you guys. <laughs> Actually, it's the afternoon. I got 
have to sleep in a little because my classes are later today, but they go into the evening. But anyway, um, I need coffee because we went to bed so late last night after getting our tickets. I forgot to vlog much. We were just so like excited and in the moment, but yeah, my friends and I are planning a trip, a two and a half week trip to Europe in the summer. And we bought our tickets, our hostels, our trains, and I'm just so excited. But yes, it's Tuesday morning. I made my coffee and you know what? I need to not spend any money because this trip is going to be so expensive. So it's a perfect segue into today's sponsor, which is Javi Coffee. Javi sent me over their coffee concentrate and it is so amazing. I make coffee so many different ways, but this is by far the most convenient way. The concentrate comes in a bottle like this, which is good for 35 servings. You literally need only one to two teaspoons of this in liquid of your choice, water, melt, hot or cold, and you stir it up and you've got your coffee. It's so easy to use and I usually use it in hot coffee, but for some reason today I wanted an iced coffee. It is a little nice and toasty in our house today, so I decided to make an iced coffee and it was literally so easy. Like when you make iced coffee, you don't have to worry about the little like coffee granules from instant coffee. So this is so nice. And it comes in different flavors. So if you're a French vanilla girly or caramel, or you just want to switch it up every morning, definitely check out the other flavors they have. Their bottles are so aesthetic. Their website is so aesthetic. So definitely have fun on there perusing the different kinds of coffee they have. They also have coffee blends and other fun coffee products. And by using Javi Coffee, you can make a Starbucks style drink at home and save money, which is what I'm going to be doing this semester. Again, I need to save my money. So this is going to come in clutch. So if you guys are interested in Javi Coffee, I have a link and a code for you that you can use and I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna drink this and have my breakfast, do some pre-work for my lectures that I have today, and then we're gonna go to my classes. And then when we're back, I'll give you guys an update on Fiverr and the beta reading that we're trying to get. Cheers. It is that backwards 6 36 and i'm home and it's dinner time i meal prepped pasta and chicken earlier in the week so slay sorry my lighting is so bad here but i highly recommend meal prepping i don't do it often but my roommate slash friend cat was meal prepping on sunday so i was like you know what i might as well too like that's smart so i just made a bunch of pasta and chicken and I worked with the seasonings I have, which are not a lot of here. Most like, I miss being home where you just have so many food and like seasoning at your fingertips because it's like, you know. But yeah, here I don't have a lot, so. But you know what? It's actually pretty good, so. Okay, I've gotten responses back from all of the editors and I know which one I want to go with, so I'm going to send it to her. But I won't share who she is yet just because I usually like to ask them like later on. But oh my god, I'm so nervous. Like it's a seven day turnaround, so I have to wait a week. I don't know what I did last time waiting for a week. Like this is literally gonna pick eat away at me and it's like so rough it's a really rough draft like i will heavily emphasize that this is a really early draft because it's like embarrassing but i'm gonna send it seven day turnaround 98 bucks yeah okay so it's 23 chapters and then this is how you compile it so you go to file compile i have to export it to google docs um either google docs or word but honestly i use google docs way more than Word, so this just makes more sense to me and then i'm just gonna make sure all of them all the chapters are there this does not need to be there also these don't need to be there i'm just gonna get rid of those because they're not important um and then that's it i could change this around but i think i'm just gonna keep it like that and then you press compile okay yeah so you save it i'm gonna save it in downloads honestly and then save okay ignore what i said you actually have to change these to chapters i don't know why mine are written as scenes right now and then that i just changed to na so this you just like it was all seen before so it didn't actually put a chapter heading <laughs> I literally don't know what this is. Like makeup, I think, and I don't know how it got there, but I'm really mad about it. But anyway, I've officially sent it, which means Project ITL officially on the back burner um, until I finish this draft of Conditions Attached, except I'm obviously gonna read the feedback as soon as I get it in a week. I can't believe I have to wait a week. But yeah, you guys will know all about that. But that means draft two is officially done in Project ITL and I'm officially finishing, working on finishing draft one of Project Conditions Attached, which is going so well so far. Like I swear my first drafts just get better each time, which is amazing. Like this one is, I'm so proud of this one. This is where I'm at in it. 10K words. And I don't know how long it's going to be, obviously. Um, 
I'm six chapters in and my outline isn't super super duper fleshed out for this. I'm kind of doing a mix of like outline slash discovery writing and I think that's why I'm getting a little bit of like writing blocks for it because it's like whenever it's not fully outlined I always stumble upon a spot where I'm like I don't know what to write next and then it's like don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna kind of just try to push through that and yeah, this is where we're at right now I don't know if I'm gonna write tonight to be honest because I'm tired But I set my goal like my project target open this up to be March 14th And that's because that's when rev pit happens, which is like a competition where it's not a competition like a Or is it maybe it is where you like a bunch of people submit their manuscripts to like editors who volunteered for this Competition so it just matches you with one and they go through all their submissions choose the one they think is the best fit for them to work on and then they work with us so i actually really want to do it this time and i want to do it with this draft so that might that's my aim goal is march 14th which is so soon so we'll see if that even ends up happening if it's not done by then then i'll probably aim to have it done by the end of the semester so like april 28th around i feel like that's a good turnaround time and then when this draft is done leave it to sit and then work on the new revisions based off of bay reader feedback for project itl so it's just gonna be working consecutively and i'm so excited We're off a great start for the year. Hi! I got posters from the poster fair I want to see. To be honest, like, I know you're supposed to go for, like, a theme color or whatever, but I was, like, looking through all of them, and it's, like, there's, like, a lot of posters or whatever, and I forgot what color scheme I was going for, so I just, like, wrote down all the posters that I liked. And I don't know if they even go together. We're gonna, like, I don't remember. I don't even know if these will look cute together. Yeah. Okay, this is the first one. Isn't she so cute? It's, I think this is like an album cover. I think this is California Dreamin'. Or is that a song? I don't even know. I don't know. Honestly, I get them all because they're cute. I have no idea who this is. But that's so adorable. Okay, that's the first one. And then you already know I have to get a friend's one. It's literally so cute. But do you see what I mean? Like these colors don't really go together, but we're gonna make it work. And then, okay, actually these two, these are, these ones are really nice because they have like pops of colors. So these ones I'll put together. Isn't she, this is so cute. This is Harry Styles colors. I don't know if, I don't even think he has an album called colors. I think it's literally just a poster of him, but it's cute. The next one, this is such a me poster. Good vibes only, yellow. Love it, absolutely love it. So simple, so basic, but cute. And that one will go with the Harry Styles one. And then Picasso, Musée d'Orsay, Rue de la Légion d'Honneur Paris. Don't know what that means, but it's cute. It's just like, that's cute. I almost got the Birth of Venus because I thought that'd be so funny, but it was like $12 and the rest were like eight and nine. So I was like, I can't justify that. Um, And I don't think I want a naked woman poster in my room, so. But I almost got it. Anyway, next up. Andy Warhol. Do I know who that is? No, but this is cute. Museum, Museum of Modern Art. So cute. Like these look really cute together, right? Yeah. Last but not least, Morris. And it's just like, I don't know what this is, but it's pretty. It's just like a picture or a painting of flowers. Yeah. Okay, this is them laid out all together. There's like a subtle, 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 subtle color scheme. Like the yellows and the pink kind of like are weaved throughout some of them. It's not bad. I can work with it. Okay, posters have been put up. I'm not married to where they are. I mean like, ooh, I literally could not find a spot for that one because it's just such a like particular shape that just wouldn't look good anywhere else. So I put it there. If you guys have ideas of like where to put them, let me know. <laughs> yeah. And then those ones are above my really messy desk. Let's just ignore how messy it is, but those ones are there. I chose those for the color scheme. So <laughs> yeah. It still looks so bare on the wall. I feel like I need way more posters. I got some posters from Rackon that I really, really love. So I just need to print those out. Maybe that would look really good. And then above me, I have these two. Sorry, I'm eating pasta, so I might have pasta in my mouth, but I had my screenwriting class today and favorite class that I have taken so far. Like it's making me rethink everything. Like I enjoy it so much, you guys. That's why I'm so like happy that with this degree, I've taken the time to like try different areas of creative writing. Like, I've taking a poetry class, you know, just general fiction and screenwriting now and they're they've all been great the poetry one was not my favorite to be honest actually i love poems i love writing poems but analyzing poems not that not my cup of tea um but the prof was great the outline like everything i did well in the class it's just it wasn't very enjoyable to me but yes screenwriting so far is so so like fun it makes me so excited like i don't care if it's like negative 52 degrees outside which it's been so cold all week this week i would show up to this class just because i love it that much last week 
week for week one we were just talking we kind of just had an intro to the course um and i love our prof in that class so much he just has such a great energy and he's he's done like screenwriting so it's really nice to learn from him and we also went over like log lines and how to create a good log line and the five elements you should have in it all wrapped up and summarized in two sentences which are like character let's see if i remember off the top of my head character stakes plot character plot stakes goal I don't remember off the top of my head to be honest. I will put the five here. But yeah, and so our first assignment was to create five log lines and submit it in time for this class. And I did that. I can show you my log lines. Comment down below which one is your favorite because I have to choose one to develop into a short film screenplay. Not really, but like, you know, for an assignment. And I got my friends to tell me their favorite ones. So I just want to see what the general consensus is. But yeah, and in this class, we kind of focus more on characters and, you know, want versus need like it's really similar to just writing a story but like we got into all the nitty-gritty details and stuff and next week we're going to be looking at structure and i'm just so excited this class is so fun so yeah i'm gonna keep eating my pasta and just chill i find it so important after like a long day to just relax i'm watching the voice i love the voice so much i'm watching season 22 right now and eating my pasta i think i said that like five times that i'm eating my pasta and gonna try to get some writing in tonight like after i eat dinner tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day i have a a blood work appointment in the morning that I'm forcing myself to not cancel and to go to and then I have a class right after and then our school has an event called frosty mug it's like a hockey game for our school that I'm going to with a bunch of my friends like a big group of people and then we might be going out after that I don't know if I will do that because it's like freezing outside so waiting in line to go into like a bar or club <sighs> it doesn't sound very appealing um we'll see if I do that so yeah this week has been going by pretty fast in my head but it's been great okay finally 10 Time to write. Also, if you haven't seen my vision board video, I made a new vision board and I'm just literally so obsessed with it. Like, I love it. Woo! And a lot of you ask what writing platform I use. I use Scrivener. I have a link to it in my description if you want to check it out. It is a paid platform, but it's literally so good, worth every penny. And I guess I get to use the script writing this year. I haven't like used anything besides just like the fiction part, but I get to do a screenplay this year. I act like this will be so fun to play around with, but anyway. Anyway, I'm going to be working on conditions attached. Woo woo. I didn't write anything yesterday, so we're still at 10.5k. This is the daily word count right now, which is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Let's see if I can hit it today. Posters are actually a vibe. Anyway, I like to do reading writing sprints in the same genre that I'm writing. I'm writing a romance. So this is the romance I'm currently reading. It's the seven year slip by Ashley Poston, and I've heard such good things about it. And yeah, it deals with grief uh, that it's not the main plot but it's like part of it which is i've been gravitating towards books that deal with that lately which has been really helpful and i've been writing about that in my new novel it's a subplot for the main character subplot um yeah you could say subplot kind of weaved into her character arc because she tends to push people away because of it but anyway so this is like the perfect read right now and i think i'm like four chapters in and i love it so far it's like romance with a little bit of fantasy in it because there's like magical elements because the main character in this meets a guy who's seven years in the past um, because her aunt who passed away her aunt that she loved passed on her apartment and her apartment's like magical i think that's just what i know i don't know much much about this yet because i'm only four chapters in but i'm gonna do like 15 writing 10 reading it. yeah <laughs> That's the part of my writing that I'm trying to improve the most are the descriptions. And like, she just has like a really good ability to like put you into the room that you're about to enter or you're entering with the character. And I think the key, or at least like this is what I learned in my one of my classes last semester, but it's to like envision the scene before you start writing it. What does it sound like? Is it quiet? Are there city noises outside? Do you hear typing? Like, are you in a library? What does it smell like? What does it look like? What are like little details, you know? And I think I'm gonna try to do that before I start writing a scene because then it would just be easier to capture all of that because i don't know why it's just so hard for me but i'm gonna try to do that but hers are so good you know who has really 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 good scene descriptions donna tart like i read the secret history and her no one does it like donna tart like they're it's amazing the way she does it honestly <laughs> I had 
my fairy tale class today. I'm so sorry. I feel like I haven't been getting that many clips. My campus is so packed with students and it's so awkward whipping out my camera and being like, well, my it's my phone. But like, you know, like I just, I'm not at that stage yet. So I'm trying my best to get some footage when I can, but it's usually pretty busy. Um, But I have a couple hours before I have to leave to hang out with my friends. So I'm gonna get some assignments done. I have a close reading due this Sunday for my English class and I have a take-home assignment that I have to finish by Monday because we're workshopping it. And for those of you who don't know, workshop is when we do a lot of workshops in creative writing, which is nerve-wracking but also so helpful and fun. <laughs> which is where you write a piece of work, everyone in your group writes a piece of work, and then you kind of spend time on each person's work, critiquing it, giving your feedback, and yeah. So nerve wracking because everyone's reading your piece right in front of you, but it's so nice to get feedback from other people. And I also enjoy giving feedback to other people. I feel like, not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good at giving constructive criticism. Like, my, I think I have a good approach at doing it in a way where it's like, you know, the cupcake method. Like, oh my gosh, I really loved how you did this. One thing is that I think this would increase the tension a bit more or this kind of pulled me away. But overall, I love, like, blah, 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 you know? And it's just, ugh, I just love it. And everyone is so talented in my program. Like, ugh, every piece I read, I'm like, wow. So it's very encouraging for me to write a good piece, which is why I do want to spend time to write a good one for the one that's due on monday so yeah i'm gonna do some work get some writing done and try not to think about project itl which is in the hands of the fiverr editor right now because i just want it back right now but i have to wait until the end of the day on wednesday so technically like thursday or is it the end of the day tuesday technically wednesday i don't know <laughs> Cat's bowl, beautiful, my bowl. This will actually be more yellow, because it's like brown. <laughs> so sweet, this way. just popping on here to end this vlog right as I'm about to start my next writing vlog because exciting news I got my feedback for the Fiverr order um but it's the next week so I'm gonna put that in my next vlog and hopefully I will see you guys in that video but I'm so happy with what I've gotten done this week I'm happy that I can focus on finishing this draft of conditions attached and I'm loving this story so much I think it's my cleanest first draft yet which is so exciting to me but progress is progress and I'm excited with how my writing projects are going right now I hope your guys' project products I hope your guys' writing projects are going amazing Thank you so much for watching, especially to the end. If you like this video, it means so much to me if you give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you're notified the next time I upload. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye!